Welcome back to Pokemon Sword, the Isle of Armor DLC pack. We were just about to do the third and final trial. We are going to face off against Clara, wherever she is. I don't even know what room she went to, to be honest with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm, I think I've got to leave the dojo though, I think. In battles, there's always a winner, which means there's always got to be a loser too. Oh, sorry, don't mind me, just talking to myself. Okay, they sometimes say the most obvious things ever, but alright then, I guess I just gotta leave. Oh, it's out here. Oh, okay. Oh, right, I am totally ready for my battle against Clara. Let's do this. The crazy girl. Kind of feel bad about defeating her though, like, she seems so determined. But then that guy did say, you know, she never really has motivation because she's had it really easy, so we gotta give her a tough time. So she soars and aspires to uh, new heights, right? You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. I'm curious about this armor, actually. And then I'll become a poison type gym leader. Hey, I've got to win no matter what. All right, well, it's good she's determined. I'm going to go all out and totally beat you. Are you ready? I am ready. Yes, let's go. Let's do some poke battles. Looks like the two of you are ready. All right, Mustard is here, Honey is here, and all the crew. All right, good luck. I think she's gonna need it. I'll be cheering for the both of you. All right, you two, take your places. Okay, let's go. Is he gonna be like the person who tells all the rules? The referee kind of person, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be like, Pokemon battle starter. The Master Dojo's final trial. Why can't I challenge Mustard himself? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. I wanna actually face mustard what are those sparkly things and go all right i like how she like is pressing the button on her pokeball i don't know why i just do <laughs> okay time to face this girl again it seems like she has got like you know stronger pokemon and stuff and we can dynamax as well so i guess that is cool so let's just get this battle over with <laughs> okay looks like some toxic spikes got on the battle court is that what those oh that's what those were oh so we have a, a handicap i see that's fine because i don't even think that we're even going to be in battle long enough for it even to affect us that much to be honest with you <laughs> I know that like that sounds probably really cocky and everything, but honestly my level is just so much higher than hers that I just I just don't think that she's going to have much chance unfortunately. <laughs> okay, we are poisoned, but yeah, it's really not going to hurt too much. I wonder if you can actually like cure that. I don't know because it's like all over the battlefield so it might just come back again i have no idea we're also like super effective as well so i'm just one-shotting everything oh well that wasn't quite a one-shot but it was almost it was definitely almost a one-shot oh that actually did a little bit of damage he's actually super effective let my poison drive you crazy <laughs> oh god that was really bad do you think that's do you think they did that intentionally they made her a poison type and they called her that just to make that terrible pun <laughs> that was the whole point of it <laughs> it was really bad okay the wheezing's down how many more has she got left because like i kind of just want to get through this and just like see what happens i want to see if there's like any other cool features to this dlc pack because i really like the idea of the max mushroom soup actually i think that was a kind of cool thing that we were able to do okay i think this is gonna be a one shot yes awesome that is cool. And the slowpoke part was kind of funny as well. I liked that. It was really random. <laughs> it's been a very light-hearted DLC so far. Oh, I think she was going to die, but she held on, so that's good. You know what? We're just going to keep Sparkles out. She's probably going to Dynamax now, actually, and I, I don't know how long I'm going to last. I might not be able to finish this Pokemon with uh, Rapidash. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I really like the way that um, Slowbro looks with the, the different colors. I think that looks really cool. All right, here she goes. She is gonna Dynamax. Da -da 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 -da. I'm looking forward to seeing that in like big beast mode. That's gonna look cool. There he is. He doesn't really look that different actually. I was kind of 
thinking he was actually going to have like a, a different look I guess I thought he was gonna look slightly different but no I don't think he does all right this is probably me dead oh that's very poisony it's weird to see a poisonous slowpoke actually <laughs> but also interesting I guess it makes sense with the the different colors that he's got going on there so I don't know I guess I'll just bring out firecracker I suppose I don't really know <laughs> I don't think it really matters to be honest with you um I don't know if I want to dynamax is it worth it it takes so much time to dynamax I'm just not sure if it's worth doing so it's just gonna take so much time <laughs> So we're gonna just try, oh, I forgot he's still water actually, so that was a bad idea. I don't know why I bring that Pokemon out. I wasn't thinking, I was overconfident, I think, <laughs> most likely because I was like, yeah, this Pokemon's going down easy. <laughs> I don't really think about weaknesses and stuff. Okay, I think my cracker's down this time. Okay, maybe Gengar or something. I don't really know. Should we bring out our legendary? Let's bring out our legendary. Let's Dynamax our legendary. Because I feel like that would be really cool. I've never seen a legendary. I've never seen this legendary Dynamax, actually. And I think that could be really interesting to see. So let's... Oh, you can't. You can't Dynamax these. I guess that makes sense. I didn't realize that you couldn't do that, actually. <laughs> so that's interesting. Oh, wow. I'm super effective. Who needs Dynamaxing? You don't need it with this Pokemon. <laughs> He's just that OP. I like how his little thing has like a gun on the end. Oh my, I was not expecting that much damage. Wow, <laughs> that is kind of impressive. Oh, 10 HP. I got roasted by the poison. Not really roasted, but intoxicated. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's bring out Inteleon and we shall see what we can do against this guy. Stupid guy. I actually, I'm really surprised that she managed to do more damage to me than I thought she was going to do, to be quite honest with you. All right, let's try maybe a Sucker Punch or something. There's literally no point in Dynamaxing now because we are really, really close. So let's just finish him off with Inteleon. Awesome stuff. I love my little Inteleon Pokemon, actually. I didn't really like the design at first. He has grown on me over time, for sure. And there we go. It is done. Awesome stuff. I'm sorry I had to defeat you, but I didn't hold back. I I gave it everything I've got. Well, I'm sorry to say that it wasn't good enough. The victor has been decided. Yay! The one to complete the third trial is you, Miss Multi. Hooray! Hooray! That was amazing! What a fierce battle! Well done! You both gave it your all. What is next? That is what I want to know. Oh man, I totally lost. Huh, well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheese a little, and still lose. How did you cheat? What did you do? <laughs> I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but I really was trying, you know, as hard as I could. And you don't think I was, okay? Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Oh wow, now you make me feel bad. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Miss Multi, you can tell the master that I cheated. Uh, what did you do? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did she do? Oh, no need to tell me. You can't hide anything from little old me. M master I should apologize on Clara's behalf too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she just didn't want to get beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hardworking student. So cheaters are good and hardworking now? Say what? <laughs> master, thank you. What did she do though? You didn't tell me. I'm sorry, Multi. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. Oh, that sounds like quite the task. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course. Let's work on strengthening your heart. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, okay. 
She's going to get um, revitalized, so that's nice. All right, everyone, things are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You mastered so much effort and tried so hard. I got so teared up that I couldn't even see half of the battle, but what I saw was amazing. Okay, so where's my armor? Give me my armor. Miss Multi, you gave it your best and triumphed. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. To you who has completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted and that's all okay well that was kind of cool i guess miss multi yes what do you want lady um i well yes spit it out oh her league card i should have known she was gonna give one of those i like the little cards so i like collecting them they're kind of cool i like it when you get like different variants of them too you're really strong thanks i feel like that was kind of impressive for her to say that because she seems like really prideful so yeah i'm quite happy with that okay so we're gonna rest up before we do anything because we really should do that and i, I tend to forget honestly <laughs> to heal up my pokemon so we need to remember all right so what do i do where's my armor i have no idea oh i guess i just gotta speak to the old dude see if we can get our armor now i'm really curious about this there you are mosi Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this armor. I'm the one waiting. <laughs> Since you've completed all three trials, I'll give you the secret. Yeah, just do it already, man. Stop talking. No talking. More action. <laughs> now then, come on out. Wait, it's a Pokemon. It's not actually armor. What? <laughs> okay, am I being gifted a Pokemon? I mean, he's cool, but it's not what I was expecting. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. He's so adorable. <laughs> That's so cool. He kind of looks like an old man. <laughs> oh, he's shy. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> he seems to match the old man's personality. I feel like that. I feel like he's the perfect Pokemon for him. Bear? This Pokemon is, in fact, the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Cubfu. I know, I know, it's tiny, but raise it with diligence and it will become strong enough to see you through any battle, just like a suit of armor. No opponents will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. I noticed that, it's cute. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Miss Multi, maybe if it joins you, on your adventure that will help break it out of its shell a little bit so take good care of Kubfu, okay it's in your hands now all right we got a cute little pokemon for doing that so that's nice does he want to leave his master i don't know <laughs> i have no idea well it looks like he's coming over so that's a good sign hello little dude do we get a pokedex entry for this little guy i hope so look how cute he is <laughs> So adorable. Yay! A new Pokedex entry. Here he goes. Kung Fu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves it masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Oh, it has like different um, evolutions. That's actually really cool. I wonder what I'm going to get. Um, actually, I should have put that in my... Um, I should have put that in my team. The first thing for you to do is to become best friends with Kung Fu. You need to build trust. Kung Fu really hasn't had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo so maybe it will help you become better friends if you let it have a look around maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the isle of armor i'll have my students standing at good spots so just keep an eye out so i gotta find like random spots and of course having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly toward each other what else oh i know i hereby grant you permission to keep a pokemon out of its pokeball here on the isle of armor yay <laughs> I love that. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it out for a stroll. Yay! I like that. I like really liked how you could do that in Let's Go Eevee. Like, why did they leave it so late? Like, <laughs> my god. Once your best buddies will start Cubfu's training in earnest, just stop by and let me know when you think you're ready. All right, I've definitely got to put him in my team. i got to figure out how to put him in my team now because I put him in my box because... 
I guess it's just like uh, a natural thing that I do. <laughs> I just automatically just do that whenever I catch a Pokemon. Hmm, if only someone... <laughs> no, but who would gather that many? <laughs> well, oh, clearly me. <laughs> All right, what do you want? Oh, Miss Multi, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, did you collect Watts? Uh, yes, I do. You're such a pro at this, Multi. I'll have you know that the Watt business is positively booming right now. They say that those who hold the most Watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up Watts to spruce up the dojo a bit, get some more gear, but both my darling hubby and my son are more the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many all on my own. If you ever happen to have some Watts to spare, I'll gladly take them. Okay, I wouldn't ask you for to give them for nothing in return, so um, she's going to reward us. Right, so I guess we'll give her some. Alright, I'm here to share some what's. How many? I can give you a thousand. Yes. You've given us 1,000 so far. If you could spare another 4,000, then I could hire a stylist for the dojo so you can change your look whenever you like. Oh, so it's like upgrades to the dojo and stuff. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. I guess I could do the first up upgrade, I suppose. All right, I do have 4,000. That means I'm gonna have to do them all individually now. <laughs> Oh man, that's a pain in the butt. All right, I'll have to do them one by one because I can't do 5,000. <laughs> what a pain. All right, here we go. With over 5,000 watts, I can afford to have a hairstylist at the dojo. All right, here we go. So let's unlock this thing because I'm curious. Is this the hair salon? salon? Yes, this is Honey from the dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist. All right, this is cool. I like how you can get little upgrades. They're sending someone right over. All right, so where are oh, they going there? Hello, dojo. It's lovely to meet you, but I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling to you all. So whenever you'd like to have something, please call me in this room. So you can't even see them. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Now, that's a real pro. True masters are always really picky about their craft. But now we can always look our best, even out here in the wilds. All right, I suppose. Let's see. I want to... No, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> hair and makeup. I want to see what new hair styles they actually put in here. Because there was something I unlocked that unlocked new hairstyles. Ah, these must be the new ones down here. So we have messy bun shorts and undercut are these the new ones i'm guessing oh wow it's the punk pigtails that um that girl has um uh, marnie i think she was called an elegant updo i really like that a lot actually that's really nice so were those the only new ones I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess I was expecting a little something more. I kind of like that, actually. I think that's really nice. You can also have different colours. Do they have any different colours, I wonder? I guess not. I still think I have the best colour. I really like wine red. I think it's really nice. All right, so we're going to go with this because I think it looks really nice, actually. So let's go with this. All done. All right. Oh, I should have reprinted it. Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> we have a new hairstyle. I like it. I really like the bun. It's nice. Okay, so I guess now we do have access to more areas. I'm pretty sure the old man said we had access to different areas or something. One day, I'd like to be strong like you. Well, I'm sure you can one day. Why is there no Pokemon box? That's like the most annoying thing in this game, actually. Um... I, I want to know what's next. Can I not? Yeah, what's the next goal po post? Okay, so if we give her 5,000, she's going to get a road to me. So they have like a Pokemon Center thing. These things should have been included anyway. <laughs> Why do I have to pay you to have them here? <laughs> Stupid. All right, so um, it's inconvenient for sure. So I'm going to have to... Oh, there's like exclamation marks. Cool. I'm going to have to like go back because I want to get this new Pokemon in my team. Oh, look at my beautiful Rapid Dash. If only you could ride her. Why do they not let you ride it though? Like, oh my gosh. I wish that we could. Just like in Let's Go Eevee. That would be so cool. It only takes like two seconds to go back to Wedgehurst and go back to the Pokemon Center though, I guess. So it's not too bad, I suppose. 
All right, let's see. I got my legendary out, so I'm kind of curious if they actually... Oh, yes, they actually made one. He's massive. He's way bigger than I was expecting. I feel tiny compared to him. <laughs> it's such a shame that you can't actually, like, ride on them or anything, but I guess that's just the way it goes. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, of course, the, the new things that have opened up. So I want to go over over here I guess can I fast travel to that area I don't think I can but no no I can't that's a shame okay we're gonna have to just like make our own way over there I suppose let's see what's over there I'm curious oh this is the first spot where you have to enjoy the view with cub foo so let's enjoy the scenery i guess so that's what the exclamation marks are for i thought they were like uh all different areas that we now have access to but i don't think so all right so there's the first one so that's cool you feel like you're getting more friendly with cub foo yay being with your pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful don't you think sure why not all right so oh that's my joy con for you because it drifts a little bit <laughs> i didn't mean to do that okay so now i gotta go to these other locations as well here is the second one these are a bit of a pain to find actually but i'm getting that <laughs> i think there's only two more after this so that's cool all right this should increase my bond with this little guy look how excited he is he's so adorable <laughs> all right it's almost time to show your master mustard how close you've gotten really already okay all right cool well that's nice all right so let's check the map here there's like one down there i don't know where that is I have no idea where some of them are. We're right next to the tower, so I guess we could go into the tower now. It's a nice little pincer over there as well. I wonder if this is unlocked. I'm not sure if it was this one that was unlocked or if this is still locked. Oh, okay. I think this one might still be locked, unfortunately. The Tower of Darkness, you're not yet ready. No! Why? This is a cool view. I like the view from up here. I'm not sure where the next location is, actually. All right, I got the next one. I'm actually using a guide because they are a pain in the butt to find. Even when you kind of use the map, they're actually incredibly difficult to find. So they are really annoying. All right, so there's only one more to find after this one. So hopefully I don't have too much trouble with it. But we shall see. Um, hopefully my little cub foo is happy. I hope so anyway. After all of this, after all of this pain and misery. <laughs> Okay, one more to go, which is all the way up the top there. I'm guessing I have to go through that tunnel. I think it's inside the tunnel. I think so. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. Ta -da -da -da! And the final one. Thank God. Because <laughs> these were driving me crazy. <laughs> But we finally done it, so hopefully a cub foo, we will be the best of friends. <laughs> it literally just said that, you are now the best of friends. I was literally just <laughs> thinking that. <laughs> I mean, we better be after all of that. All right, awesome. I think I'm going to stop the episode here for now. Now that we are friends with cub foo, we can finally see what um the master dojo dude says once we tell him of our deeds. So that will be nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. It's only $1 a month to gain access and I'm currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. And it's only $1 a month to gain access. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.